We need to laugh once in a while, and that means we need Sarah Cooper. America needs Sarah Cooper. On the day Donald Trump unveil, unveiled Obamagate at a press conference, I tweeted, you never have to watch Trump again, just watch Sarah Cooper as Trump. Here's how Sarah Cooper handled Obamagate. Mr. President, in one of your Mother's Day tweets, you appear to accuse President Obama of the biggest political crime in American history by uh, far. Those were your words. What crime exactly are you accusing President Obama of committing, and do you believe the Justice Department should prosecute him? Uh, Obamagate. It's been going on for a long time. It's been going on from before I even got elected, and it's a disgrace that it happened. And if you look at what's gone on, and if you look at now all of this information that's being released, and from what I understand, that's only the beginning. Uh, some terrible things happened, and it should never be allowed to happen in our country again. And you'll be seeing what's going on over the next, over the coming weeks. But I, and I wish you'd write honestly about it. But unfortunately, you choose not to do so. Yeah, John, please. Crime. What is the crime exactly that uh, you're accusing him of? You know what the crime is. The crime is very obvious to everybody. All you have to do is read the newspapers, except yours. Uh, John, please. If you're wondering what Sarah Cooper sounds like when she's not channeling Donald Trump, tonight's your lucky night because Sarah Cooper will be our next guest after this break. But before we go to the commercial, Donald Trump wants to do a commercial for hydroxychloroquine. Well, if you'd like it, I said, yeah, I'd like it. I'd like to take it. A lot of people are taking it. A lot of frontline workers are taking hydroxychloroquine. A lot of front... I don't take it because, hey... People said, oh, maybe he owns the company. No, I don't know the company. You know what? I want the people of this nation to feel good. I don't want them being sick. And there's a very good chance that this has an impact, especially early on. But you look at frontline workers, you look at doctors and nurses, a lot of them are taking it as a preventative. And they're taking, totally unrelated, but they take the z or the Zithromycin for possible infection. Now, I haven't taken that other than an original dose because the, all you need, you don't have to take it simultaneously, but the zinc you do take. So I'm taking the two, the zinc and the hydroxy. And all I can tell you is so far I seem to be okay. Who can forget how proud Donald Trump was when he thought he understood what per capita means? You know, when you say per capita, there's many per capita. It's like per capita relative to what? But you can look at just about any category, and we're really at the top, meaning positive on a per capita basis. Ben Stiller calls Sarah Cooper's work understated perfection. It was Sarah Cooper's second Trump lip sync video on April 23rd that rocketed her to Twitter fame with Jerry Seinfeld and a couple of hundred thousand other people retweeting this video. We hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. And I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. Right, and then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets in the lungs, and it does a tremendous number in the lungs. So it would be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. And joining us now, Sarah Cooper, comedian and author of 100 Tricks to Appear Smart in Meetings. Sarah, thank you for what you do, first of all. I want to thank you on behalf of America, because I know how the feeling is out there uh, about you. And, and I have to say, uh, I hear Donald Trump completely differently when you do him. When, when, I, when it's him, it's just this kind of fog, this blur of words, and I would really have to concentrate to actually understand what he thinks those sentences are. But you give them a life, you give them expression in a way 
uh, that I can actually follow what he at least is trying to say. Uh, do, do you, I, I mean, do you get that, it, that you are actually clarifying what he's attempting to do? <laughs> uh, yeah, I see this as me taking the subtext of what he has sort of written extemporaneously and kind of giving that to the world. Um, I'm the Trump whisperer for a better uh, lack of terminology. Um, yeah, I mean, as an actor, it's just very interesting because you don't know where his brain is going. I don't know. I don't know if he knows where his brain is going. And so, I, just through repetition, I'm able to figure out a, a sort of a through line, sort of a, a theme, and help make sense of it for people. So, one of your biggest fran fans, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, told the New York Times in an article uh, that he has explained to his kids why your work is so funny. And this is the explanation he gave as reported in the New York Times. Jerry Seinfeld says, the reason this is funny is because she doesn't think she's being funny. When you think you're being funny, that's less funny for us as the audience. When you're being dead serious, that's funnier. You don't see her enjoying what she's doing. She's doing it because she has to do it. That's what's funny. Sarah, does Jerry have it right? Do you have to do it? Yeah, I kind of do have to do it. You know, I um, I think what he was trying to say is basically, I'm not winking to the audience. I, I, ge I genuinely believe that what I'm saying is the smartest possible thing I could be saying right now. And I believe that's what Trump thinks he's doing as well. And so I am, I am not trying to be funny. I'm just trying to be as earnest as possible as Trump. And I think that's the difference between what I'm doing and what most Trump impressionists do. Uh, they mm -hmm. kind of ham it up, and I kind of are just like, as Sarah Cooper, how would Sarah Cooper say these words? And that's that's basically what I'm doing. The uh, oh, I, I hear so many things in there that I that I wouldn't catch. I can I, you you show me when he's embarrassed and when he's kind of scared of the question and when he's running away from it. You show me when he's so proud that he thinks he knows what per capita means. I mean, you show these feelings of his flash and change uh, in fractions of a second as he goes through these things. Yeah, I mean, my favorite part of that first video is when he's so proud of the fact that he knows that medical doctors have to be used. Um, and for me, it just kind of reminds me of these uh, guys in corporate meetings who would come in and just speak for minutes on end without saying anything. And uh, I've always admired that. And I feel like he was able to become the most powerful man in the world on posture alone, just on his ability to speak and speak and speak and speak until you don't even know what happened. And um, I like the ability to sort of take off the emperor's clothes, to take away the podium and the people behind him nodding and the suit and the I'm so rich and just have the words there with my facial expression so people can actually see how he literally has no clue what he's talking about. Well, you know, I'm always hoping that you get these done in time, like, say, about 9 o'clock, so that I can work them into this show at 10 o'clock, because I don't like to show Trump video, but video of you doing Trump, I will show whenever it's ready. It's so much more clear. So can you, can you schedule it for us that way? Um, I'll try my best, but as you know, I'm an artist, so we'll have to see when the inspiration strikes. And also I understand. my writer. I understand. Yeah. I understand completely. The artist, Sarah Cooper, gets tonight's last word. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lawrence. The 11th Hour with Brian Williams starts now.